Today is day one of the self quarantine, so we still got 14 days left. A long way to go, guys. I'll try to find something to do, maybe take some online courses or make several YouTube videos. Just try to occupy myself with something so I don't feel bored. Just several minutes ago, the local CDC sent somebody to give us some stuff. So let me quickly show you guys. Okay. So let's see. So, first of all, a book. Hmm. I don't know why they gave us a book like tell us how to eat healthy diet and some oat flakes what else and some crackers typical Taiwanese instant noodles I don't know what that drink is but some unknown drink I never heard before so yeah I'm gonna try it anyway so I will get back to you see how it tastes a thermometer so every day you have to uh, temp your temperature and report to them and some masks some nuts some chocolate so basically that's it but still it's pretty nice for them uh, to give us some stuff it's better than nothing right so yeah right now I guess I'm gonna just mm, keep editing my videos hopefully I can upload it tomorrow so yeah I think that's it for right now Hey, what's up? Today is day two of the self quarantine. So yesterday we all decided to uh, start doing some exercise. Just try to keep ourselves in shape. For me, I think every day I'm gonna try to do at least 50 push-up. And my wife actually got a jumping rope from top up before we come to Taiwan. So she's gonna start doing some exercise. Today is day three of the self quarantine. I just woke up just one hour ago. Somebody came to our door and helped us to deal with the trash because we are under the quarantine. So obviously we can't go out to throw our trash. So yesterday I called the local CDC and they told us that actually they have somebody to help us to deal with the trash. So yeah, that's pretty nice of them. Right now we still got enough food. Yesterday my wife, she actually uh, bought some groceries from the local market, uh, but she didn't go by herself. She ordered it from Uber Eat, and somebody was gonna pick them up for us and then uh, come to our apartment. So as long as you have your cell phone and you got money, you can virtually also order anything, and they will send it to you. Day four of the self quarantine. I literally don't have anything else to add on because there wasn't anything special. So we'll be staying home for all day. Uh, yeah, today just gonna be another day. Today is day five of the self quarantine, so we still got nine days to go. Just can't wait to get outside. Today is actually a little bit rainy. I don't know if you find like my voice sounds weird. I accidentally like bit my tongue you know, the other day and it's getting worse. Ah. <laughs> Today is day 6 of the quarantine. I did something quite stupid yesterday. So last night while I was doing shower, I brought my phone with me. So usually uh, I would play some music while I was doing shower. Some water probably got into my phone. So the screen of my phone was flickering last night. So I turned off my phone. I thought nobody gonna call me uh, during the middle of the night, and uh, I reckon I should just switch my phone on during the day. It should be fine. But this early morning, around like six o'clock, somebody called me from the CDC, and because my phone was off, so they sent some police officers to the apartment and check to see if everything was going well. And yeah, so basically you should turn off your phone even during the night. So guys, yeah, made a stupid mistake. But eventually everything works fine. Now I need to make sure my phone is on 24-7.
Hey, how's it going? Uh, today is day seven of the quarantine, so we still got a whole week to go. Uh, the ulcer in my tongue uh, still hasn't gone away yet. Uh, it still hurts, but it's getting a little bit better. So yeah, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. I've been using the delivery system in Taiwan for a week now. I think it's just as convenient as the one back in my hometown. So that's pretty nice. Today, just another self-quarantine day, so it's gonna be normal. It's day 8 of the self-quarantine, just woke up, it's almost 1 p.m. So my wife, she's cooking some lunch for us. We're gonna eat some uh, Chinese dumpling and some corn soup. So yeah, uh, during this period of time, our schedule is totally off. We usually woke up around 12 p.m. and then we sleep at 3 a.m. Yeah, sometimes you just don't have anything else to do, so you end up like watching a movie for a very long period of time. So I guess since we only have like six days to go, I guess we should gradually change our time schedule. Hey, uh, today is day 9 of the self-quarantine, uh, so right now I'm editing some video, hopefully I can finish that off and then upload it onto YouTube by tonight. Uh, this morning someone from the CTC called us, they informed us that the local government actually will give us some money as compensation for being self-quarantined here. The government will give us 1000 Taiwan dollar per day, per person, so which is Pretty nice. So for staying here for 14 days, uh, every one of us can get 14,000 Taiwan dollars. So for the total, my wife and I we can get 28,000 Taiwan dollar. So that's pretty good for a government. Day 10 of the self quarantine. So I think we got five more days to go. Uh, next Wednesday we will be finally allowed to get outside of this apartment. Can't wait, guys. Right now, I think we just gonna do a little bit of cleaning for the apartment, try to make everything organized because my uncle-in-law, he gonna come and drop some stuff, so we don't want him to see that this place is very chaotic. Day 11 of the self-quarantine, so three more days to go. Last night, didn't sleep very well, I got a stiff neck, still hurts a little bit. But yeah, anyways, right now we just ordered some food for dinner and let me just show you. So I just got a bento box, some, just some meat, some eggs. They gave me another like a yogurt type of thing. Yeah. Today is day 12 of the self quarantine. So I just woke up, finished my lunch, doing some exercise. So we got two more days. On Wednesday, we can finally leave this apartment. So almost there, guys. Today is day 13 of the self-quarantine, so tomorrow is gonna be our final day. And then the day after tomorrow, which is Wednesday, we can finally leave this apartment. So far, so good. I think uh, I don't feel bored at all. Uh, I try to occupy myself with as many things as possible, so time really flies. Finally, it's day 14 of the self-quarantine. Actually, we're just two minutes away from finishing our quarantine, guys. So yeah, uh, for the past 14 days, uh, I feel pretty good. I don't feel bored at all. Uh, we are occupied with uh, different kind of thing. I did some online learning 
and yeah and we haven't finished our supply yet actually uh, sometimes we just feel lazy and then we just order from like uh, some online uh, food delivery services like Uber Eats and Food Panda, uh, which are pretty good. I think uh, they are just as fast as the one uh, from the mainland. I think tomorrow we just gonna pack everything, uh, just organize all the stuff in this apartment, and then in the afternoon we just gonna go to my uncle in law's place. Uh, he actually lives in Xinjiang, which is about one hour away from here. So we're just gonna have dinner together and after that we're probably gonna borrow my auntie's car and then drive all the way to um, Taichung. So here you go, right now it's 12 a.m. We are free to do whatever we want guys. We can leave the apartment but it's pretty late right now so I'm not planning to go outside. So yeah, just gonna go to bed and then um, yeah, try to wake up early tomorrow maybe have some walk during the morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is day 15. So we can finally get outside. Right now it's 2 p.m. Uh, we're just gonna go to the nearby 7-Eleven and to pay for our uh, high-speed railway ticket. Okay, let's just take the first step outside of the apartment for the last 15 days. Okay guys, so we just got the tickets from the 7-Eleven. Super hot outside. I'm not sure if we're gonna go anywhere at the moment. So we are at the Taipei main station. Right now we're gonna take the high speed train to Xinchu. right now for the past 14 days I think it wasn't too bad at all actually as long as you just find something to do so you don't feel bored uh, so yeah I think that's pretty much it so if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe and I'm gonna catch you on the next one okay peace